My desk setup is as important to me as the work I do. If things are off, if things are messy, or if things aren't the way I like, it affects my work. Knoopsie here, and this is my upgraded 2018 desk setup tour, brought to you by Amplify Wi-Fi. This desk setup touches on a few major things I personally thought could be improved, as well as taking into account viewer feedback from the previous video. One of the major things that people said about my previous setup is it looks very plain, or like a hospital, since it is so sterile and clean. To respond to that, I like my desk setup with little to no clutter because I can easily get distracted. Basically when my desk setup is very minimal and uniform, this is what works best for me to minimize distractions and keep me focused on the work I'm doing. One of the things I did actually add to my setup behind my monitor though are these Nanoleaf Aurora panels. These have to be some of the coolest pieces of tech I've ever used. Aurora Borealis. So basically these are ultra thin LED panels that clip together and they stick to your wall with removable adhesive or adhesive strips. I have the old strips but I will definitely be upgrading to the invisible ones in the future and I kinda messed up and it's totally my fault. They get really bright, they look hella cool, and they add a really nice tone to basically any room while working or just chilling out. There's also a microphone built into one of the attachments, when you actually have audio playing in the room, the lights react in different patterns and it's just the coolest thing ever. And speaking of lighting, I've also added a task lamp mounted to my standing desk with a Philips Hue bulb inside. And I can adjust all of these lights with Apple HomeKit and Siri, or my Google Home across the room, and even Amazon Alexa. It's all smart, it's all awesome. Now moving more into the desk itself, I'm still using the Apex Desk standing desk with a custom tabletop, as well as my 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar from 2016. And this computer still runs like an absolute champ for basically everything. Final Cut Pro, all of my schoolwork, Keynote, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, this computer kills it. Now powering everything in my desk setup, my smart lights, computer, phone, and my entire house in general is my Wi-Fi system, the Amplify HD. And Amplify is also today's sponsor. So quick story, I live in a three-story townhouse with lots of stairs and by the time I'm actually upstairs, my Wi-Fi basically sucks with my standard broadband internet carrier box. My speeds regularly are 300 download, 100 upload, and when I get to the very top floor, connection is total garbage with the standard box. And in comes the Amplify HD, which is a mesh Wi-Fi system that easily plugs into your original Wi-Fi box and you can plug in the various mesh points throughout your house for a full, solid internet Wi-Fi connection. And using the system, my Wi-Fi has been absolutely killer on all floors, taking full advantage of the speeds that I'm actually paying for with my internet. The main router box portion is incredibly minimal and well designed, like no other router I've ever seen before, with a touchscreen up front, USB-C cable for power, and four Ethernet LAN ports on the back for other devices. You can also use Amplify router boxes as mesh points in place of the standard antenna ones. So if you use the router box as a mesh point, you can essentially have four Ethernet ports at each point to take advantage of a full wired connection throughout your house. And those standard antenna mesh points that also work with other router boxes besides one from Amplify are also very thoughtfully designed with even the small details like the antenna part being magnetic, so in case you knock it off the wall, it won't damage your sockets at all. The whole setup process for the router and the mesh points literally took me like 5 minutes and it's incredibly simple for basically anyone, especially with the very easy to use application. If you have a bigger house and lots of floors with Wi-Fi dead zones, try out an Amplify HD mesh system. It's been a night and day difference for me, completely. Big thank you to Amplify for basically fixing my Wi-Fi problems and supporting my channel. One thing new that I've been trying out that BenQ sent over is this 4K HDR 32 inch BenQ EW3270U monitor. It's quite a name. It's attached to my VESA arm and it's fairly heavy and thick, but the screen portion itself is quite awesome. It has 95% DCI-P3 coverage, different color profiles built in, as well as an HDR on and off toggle. The big upgrade for me is 32 inches, up from 27 inches on my previous monitor, and that's quite a big difference in screen size that is definitely noticeable. I do appreciate having so much screen real estate, but there are two major deal breakers with this display that kind of hurt my experience using it. The first negative, it doesn't actually charge my MacBook Pro while I'm using it, or while I'm actually not using it. 
My previous USB-C display and many other USB-C displays actually do this feature, so not having it here is kind of a weakness. I have to use my wall charger plugged in, it's just one more port that's taken up. Additionally, having no USB hub built into this monitor means I have to take out a dongle when I have to plug in my SD card. Having just one cable for everything like power, data, video, and audio is just an incredible feature that you kind of can't live without after you try it out once. But for a Mac or PC desktop computer, this is a fairly good choice. Now for peripherals, I'm still using the MX Master 2S from Logitech, which is my favorite mouse that I've really ever used, and also my brand new keyboard, the wireless Logitech Craft. My absolute favorite keyboard ever as well. The design of the keyboard itself is ultra sleek and modern. It has some great weight to it, doesn't slide on a table at all, the top portion is aluminum, and the rest of it is this nice gray matte plastic. And for the main keyboard feature of typing, of course, it feels great. There's a great tactile response, awesome key travel, and the shape of the keys themselves have a nice concave center, so your finger sinks right into it when you're typing. The keyboard also has backlighting, which I really appreciate, especially upgrading from a stock Apple keyboard with no backlighting at night at all. So one thing that literally stands out on this keyboard is the dial. The dial is a big part of the whole craft keyboard with the ability to actually map various functions to this dial within various applications. If you're in some of the major Adobe Creative Cloud applications or in the office suite, you can do a whole bunch of cool things just by turning the dial instead of navigating small menus. For me personally, I don't actually use Creative Cloud or the office suite, but it works excellent for adjusting brightness, volume as a hotkey, or for tabs in Chrome. It's also all customizable with Logitech's companion software on your computer, and I really hope it eventually comes to Final Cut Pro for scrubbing through the timeline or just zooming in on clips and stuff, that would be legendary. Also from Logitech, finally I have some desktop speakers. These are Logitech MX Sound Bluetooth and computer speakers that look awesome and sound quite good. There's excellent bass, a nice warm sound, but well, not really totally accurate for video editing or anything, much better than using built-in computer speakers while a laptop is actually closed, or some of the crappy monitor speakers. But the best part of all these peripherals is they all basically match at this point and it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. The final additions to my desk setup upgrade are these new docks for my phone and my Apple Watch from Native Union that also match my Lago Apple AirPods stand. The docks are both weighted so they're heavy and they stay perfectly still on your desk with a silicone layer and metal parts throughout. They are super elegant and work perfectly for charging my phone and watch. This has been my desk setup upgrade video for 2018. Building off my previous desk setup and improving some of the major weaknesses, I'm quite happy with the finished results. It's not 100% perfect yet, I'm always improving it every single day, but it allows me to get my schoolwork done and video editing work done with ease and very efficiently. Let me know any suggestions or improvements in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.